All right, the next step in this technique is to actually mark your backing fabric. Now, before I'm going to mark it, because it's machine applique, I have actually taken and spray sized this a little bit so it's a little bit crisper, which is going to make a big difference when you're stitching it down to keep it nice and flat. So my backing fabric has been spray sized. This is a light color fabric, so I first want to show you how I'll mark the backing with a light colored fabric. Here's my pattern. Oh, let's go back to this a little bit. This is an acrylic table. These acrylic tables, are an, it's an extension table for your sewing machine. I generally, honestly, leave mine on all the time. Unless I'm sewing garments, I don't usually just put the little section that goes around the arm on my machine. I leave my acrylic table on all the time. It gives me a nice flat surface. I'm making quilts, they're flat. This really works well. Well, for this technique, I'm gonna use the extension table for something it really wasn't designed for. I'm gonna take my pattern, and then I'm gonna use, put my light colored fabric down on top. Now, I can, when I'm very close to this, and because this is a very light fabric, I can actually see through the um, fabric to mark my design. But with the acrylic table, if your fabric, if you can't really see through it, use a little light. So I'm going to turn this little light on, and now it's going to go underneath the acrylic table. I have just created a very inexpensive light box. Now, if you have a light box, you're golden. You can do all of this with a light box. But for this, if you don't have a light box, I already have an acrylic table. You know you already have a little craft light. Now we've created a light box. The marking that you're going to do on the base of the fabric, and this is going to be true whether or not you're doing hand applique or machine applique, is you're going to do minimal marking. You do not want to take and trace around every piece on this background. If you do, the chances of the piece, that, the leaf to cover this spot being the exact size that you've just drawn slim to none. It just won't happen. So instead, just do minimal marking. So on this design, I'm going to mark the center of my stem. Then I'm going to mark the general placements for where the leaves will go on that stem. I know that at the top of the stem is a leaf. I really don't need to mark that. I know that in the middle of this piece goes a star. I don't need to mark that. I'm going to come to the other one, draw my stem, my leaf markings, turn this one around. So when you're doing applique, I would highly recommend that you do not mark every little piece on the design. Instead, Try the minimal marking technique. Marking just enough on the background that you can see the design. I know my stems need to go here, my leaves need to go here, and at the top goes another leaf, and lo and behold, in the center goes a star. Now, this technique works really well when you're doing a light colored fabric. Next, I want to show you a really cool technique when you've got a dark colored background fabric. So when you're doing applique on a dark fabric, I want to show you a couple of tools that I've been using for a long time. The first one is called Transdoodle. Now the Transdoodle, it's going to come in a little round package like this, and it comes in like four or five different colors. You'll use the color, obviously, that's going to show best on your fabric. And then the other one is the Sew Line Tracer. It really is a ballpoint pen with no ink. All right. So we're going to move these out of the way, bring my dark fabric, you're going to lay your dark fabric down. Now again, this is machine applique, so I've already done some spray sizing on it. Then I'm going to take my transdoodle piece. So I'm going to grab the yellow one. All right. Now the transdoodle is like the old-fashioned tracing paper that seamstresses have used. The one side has kind of a chalky finish on it, and then it's paper on the top. So I'm going to lay that down onto my dark fabric, and I'm going to lay my design on top of that. Now I'm going to get my little tracer pen, and I'm going to do just like I did on the other one, the light colored fabric, I'm going to do minimal marking. But you don't actually see anything you're marking. I'm going to draw on that vine, I'm going to draw where I want my leaves to happen, and just do the same idea, minimal marking.
You don't have to press too hard, and it really goes pretty quick. It's Honestly, it's a ballpoint pen with no ink. Now when I pick this up, and I pick my transdoodle up, now I can see where I need the design marked on my dark fabric. Really, really cool technique. When we come back, we're going to place our design, and then we're going to start sewing. So I'm going to be working on the light-colored piece that we already marked, and I'm going to show you how you actually secure your pieces down. Okay? We're going to use our Roxanne's glue like we used before, and I'm going to put just a dot of the glue every half inch. I pulled out of my magic box of stems. I've got some extra ones. I'm going to glue those down. Cut her off. And I would go to the next one. But what's really cool is because we have done these pieces with the fusible interfacing, the fusible is now on the back side of that leaf. So this part here is actually fusible. So you've turned it all so all you can see is the leaf and you can't see any of the fusible on the edge. Now we're going to take this and put it in position. So this is going to go into position here. So I like to use my awl and actually lift up my stem and put the leaf into position. So I'm covering up that raw edge. Oops, he moved. And here is one for the other side. Again, just going to position him on that little mark, get my little end underneath. Now in normal life, I would actually get all my pieces prepared and then you get your iron. So you're going to now take your iron, put it on hot steam, and very patiently, you are going to lay that on your applique. And then you're very patiently going to wait and just hold it there. Very patiently. You need to leave it down for 10 to 12 seconds. Might give it a little bit of a steam. When I pick it up, it's all going to be where I need it to be. Now you need to let it cool a little bit. Once it is cooled, because the fusible was on the bottom side, all those pieces are going to be secure and you're going to be ready to sew. So next we're going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to show you how to set up your sewing machine for the invisible machine applique stitch. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single one. Leave a comment. We would love to hear from you.